in which direction we find that uh, mainly we will discuss about the, the stereo selectivity means selectivity of e versus z we will not discuss about the details of utilization of basic levels rather we will see when our cis product is obtained and when our transport is obtained so basically utilization is what it's a reaction between aldehyde or a elide so now i am not going to the details part of this elide how, how does it form and we will now put a look closer look on stable elide let's say this is an elide in some separate class later we will discuss how we can synthesize the stable elides so ph3p plus this is minus and CHO. So this is a stable elide. Stable elide. Why this is a stable elide? Because this negative charge can delocalize over this CHO group. That's what's stable elide. So for normal elides, the negative charge also stabilize over this phosphorus atom. But here, when we are meaning that this is stable elide, it mostly means in delocalize over the carbonyl group. So if we have a stable elide and we have some aldehyde, then the product that, that we are going to obtain, this will be trans in nature. So this is a trans product. For stable elide, it leads to the trans product. And for normal elides that is not stable, let's say uh that will be uh, lead to the cis product so you know that kind of example a lot so i am not because of space i am not uh, just putting that example rather we will discuss the why it's happened cis or a trans so let us understand what happened or how the reaction proceeds in case of a uh put in reaction normally and just one thing i mentioned here when i am studying or we are describing this is stable such can be like that much stable is that you can the, the companies the chemical companies buy them for lab purposes hey, sorry sell them for lab purposes it is that much stable it is very much stable okay now let us have a closer look on what happens let us think this is a normal elides it is delocalized state so how does the aldehyde approaches them so aldehyde approaches the elide orthogonally then what will happen if this approaches orthogonally then we have this kind of state See, the drawing is very much easy. How I am drawing? Just here the PPH3 plus we have R group here. This is hydrogen. Now oxygen comes here. Uh, let us put it H for then to be easier. PH. So PH group is here and here. So basically what will happen we have a bond between these two this transition state that means this bond is going to form these things this is the transition state so in the transition state they will align themselves in such a way that this ph group and this r group will be far apart will far apart they are on same side but far apart they will orient themselves in such a way that not only that this pH group is also from quite distance or far apart far apart then what will we have to what will happen then they will form these things you know these things so what we found there, this R group and this look pH group are on the same sides. And we have three pH group here. pH, pH, pH. And 
because of these things will help this alkene R pH. So because they are same side, this four member oxyphosphatin ring is quite unstable. This is quite unstable. Quite unstable. And these things are kinetically controlled because it happens as one sort. This is quite unstable, but because of this kind of alignment of this R group and the pH, but to maintain the distance from that R group, just to satisfy one thing, they just lock in such conformation. So this is very much information. This is kinetically controlled. That is the transition state obtained or derived from the cis or uh, not cis that derived from the this kind of normal elides and the aldehydes it is kinetically controlled. Controlled. Now let us come to the very much interesting point. Now let us consider our initial elide was very much stable. Think about these things. We have we think about these things. Uh, let us it was our initial elide. This is Me, CO2 Me, and this is negative PPH three. As this can delocalize over this, this is quite stable. And we have this RCHO. Now, initially, what they will do? They will do similar kinds of kinetically this kind of intermediates for membering. I am just drawing this in this state. Just these things I am drawing. So, this type of things will be also formed here. See? So this is the, let's say, CO2 ME, and this is R, this is pH, pH, pH. Look, they are projected on the same sides. It's quite unstable. Quite unstable. Now look, the molecules are very clever. They know what to do because as this is stable elides, as this is unstable, this is trying to come back here. That was totally absent in this case. It was one step direct. But as this is unstable, the so molecules do not do mistakes. If they do mistakes, then rectify as soon as possible. So it was a mistake by the molecules, misunderstandings. They lock in cis configuration. Now they try to come back to the reactant molecule. And from this reactant molecule, again, they will rearrange or reorient themselves to get a transporter. What happens? So during so they will, they will break, this oxyphosphate will break, and they will try to come back. Then this ring will be opened up. Let's think there. If this is opened up, and if we have a rotation about CC bond, then R and this pH is going to be transorientation. This is very simple. So they will try to break this complex. So this will be broken out. So now this it is free where it is rooted this r group will come here and pH. they are now trans to each other so in that case what will be so they will equilibrate with a lot of forms it's p o c c now co2 me and this is ph plus and as a we will have this trans alkene. Yeah, the, this is H, this is pH, and CO2 in trans cis. So, this is the beautiful chemistry happens here because of the molecular intelligence. That this is log first time and go away because this is kinetically controlled, and this is thermodynamically controlled. Why this is thermodynamically controlled? Because the initial product is very much stable, commercially available, very much stable. So once they are locked this unstable conformation, they okay, they understand okay, something is mistake here. Then they go back, they directly go back there from this directly rearrange here, or during this can directly go to here also. Means this PO bond breaks and there is a rearrange uh, CC bond rotation, again they relock. So this is the trans conformation. So this is see. 
this CO2 ME and pH now apart from each other. So they are stable. This four member ring are stable, where, whereas this was quite unstable. That's why when we have the elite stabilized, we'll end up with a transporter. And when we have a elite unstable, I mean unstable with respect to what? This elite, then we'll have the cis product. So this is a fantastic phenomenon that happens in UTV reactions. Here, I will discuss one more thing here that we normally do not touch. It's a part of also stabilized elite. These new elites, let us about things, we are not putting emphasis. Let us take an example for this. I, I, uh, also, I give an example, just leave that part. So, think about these elites. P double bond O, OET, OET, double bond O, COET. So, if we treat this because this is highly acidic, it is in between the phosphorus and carbonyl. So this is highly acidic, like like active methyl group, not active methyl group, like. So if we put this or treat this with sodium hydride, as this is acidic, this proton will be abstract by hydride. Now we'll have this. This is DTO. And so this is stable. This is stable. Stable what? Phosphoronate ester. Like boronate ester, phosphoronate ester. Phosphoronate ester. So this is stable. Phosphoronate ester. So as this is phosphoronate ester, now if I do a Wittig reactions with this, just about think. these things then what is the product now we learn that if the utig reactions means from the it happens from the stable elites then we'll have the trans product so the utility trans that's the beauty of these reactions so as it is deriving from this Stable elite, so it leads to a trans product. And this is a very much fantastic name reaction. Also, if you remember this scientist, three scientists, this is Horner, Wordsworth, Immons reactions. When we will modify the elite by phosphonate ester, or when we will synthesize the phosphate like ester for rooting reaction, that reaction now is called Honor Wordsworth Emons reaction. This is very much interesting name reactions. Just have a glimpse that as this is stabilized elite, it produces a trans product. And for the students, when we grow up, later you will understand the molecules talk with each other silently, just you have to observe with very care. And the beautiful things see in the first time so the when the elite was not stable like then it was a simple uh, kinetically controlled transistent now when the molecule understand that okay now i have one probability to go back into the starting materials as starting material is significantly stable then they go back and they are locked into different conformations means they are thermodynamically stable so if the question is asked like that for star light what is the how the uh, transistor is formed for wooding. So it will be thermodynamically stable for stably light. And for unstable light, it will be kinetically stable. Yeah, this is a stable light. That's why it proceeds through a transistor that is thermodynamically stable.